Hello, my name is Glenn Monroe and I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. And in this video I want to walk through the ways to set up timing for a PowerPoint presentation. Now the reasons you would want to set up the timing are one example might be for a trade show booth where you want it to move through a certain number of slides in a certain period of time. Um, but you don't necessarily want everyone to be the same length. So to do this manually, just in PowerPoint on my transitions tab, on the right hand side I can choose to advance this slide on mouse click is by default and we're all used to clicking through presentations but instead I can have it choose after one second or two or three or I could type in a half second there if I wanted but very easily I can type in how long before it advances well if I want to do the whole show a good way to do that is by practicing it and all I do is I go to my slideshow tab now on my slideshow tab I'm going to rehearse my timings so I click on rehearse timings and the presentation starts and I've got a clock showing in my upper left corner. So let's say this is about as much time as I want in this slide. I now click to advance and here we go. And this one's on sli slide four seconds, click, and now it's going to decide how long this slide runs. So I could read the words off my slide if I had a very wordy slide to read, not what I recommend, but it's there. And simply clicking through and you decide exactly how long you want on each slide and I'm done. So the total time that took me was 27 seconds. Do I want to keep those slide timings for use as a new PowerPoint show? So I'm going to say yeah. And now you'll see this slide is 8 seconds, this is 5, 10, 2, and 3. And if I actually just double click on any of them, I get to my regular view. On my transitions tab, the 8 seconds is actually 7.55 and 4.95. So it's precisely as long as I allowed it on screen. And now all that has to happen is I simply run my show and after the 7.95 seconds, or however long the slide was, it will automatically advance to the next slide as such, and then roll through your entire presentation in 27 seconds. I'm just going to click out of here. I can still click through to click through faster if I gave myself too much time, but that's it. Very, very simple. You can still advance on mouse click or after. So if I have the on mouse click checked off here, I still have the, the ability to override if I gave myself too much time and I want to advance it on my own. Otherwise, it's just going to happen. So, hopefully, that helps you. Thanks for watching. Well, stay pumped, and we'll see you next time. My name is Glenn Monroe. Bye now.